I'm not sure people are as aware as they need to be about the two month heater this guy is on. Valentine's Day was this week, so we are showing some love to a few players around the NHL. The stars always get their shine, but we wanted to toss some flowers to some guys you might almost call secret crushes. Players who, outside their own market, maybe aren't being recognized for the breakthrough or bounce back performance they're having. Let's start with Noah Dobson on Long Island. The PEI boy was picked 12th overall in 2018 and has long shown signs of potential NHL stardom. While Dobson is making good on that promise this season, playing at better than a point per game clip, Dobson is also leading all blue liners in terms of primary assist. Dobson is often playing more than 25 minutes per night. He's six foot four and just turned 24 a few weeks ago. So it's safe to say this is a player everyone will be talking about soon enough, especially as the Norse Trophy votes pour in. Now, Thomas Harley might not be in the best defenseman conversation just yet, but as any Texas hockey fan can tell you, number 55 on the stars, becoming an absolute blue line stud. Like Dodson, Harley is a first round pick and certainly put his development time in, logging three years in the AHL. He only played six regular season games for the stars last year, but started to show real signs of a breakout in the 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs, notching nine points in 18 outings. Harley's carried that momentum over into this season and is among the league leaders for goals by defensemen. He's also tied for the NHL lead in overtime goals with three game deciders this season. With Harley coming on and Miro Haskinen already established as a star, the Dallas decor has a lot to build around in the next few years. Let's stick with Dallas for a minute and acknowledge the bounce back Kyler Sagan is having. It's been five years since the 32 year old put up a 32 goal season, but Sagan, who's playing on a line with Mason Marshman and Matt Duchesne, could well bury 30 during this comeback year. When it comes to the crease, it feels like we always have a few stories of guys coming out of nowhere to carry their team. This year, that storyline is on steroids with guys all over the league coming out of nowhere to play in bigger spots than anyone would have imagined. That could be Connor Ingram in Arizona, Joey Decord in Seattle, or most recently, David Riddick in LA. The two guys we're gonna hone in on though are Alex Lyon and Charlie Lindgren. If Lyon's name sounds familiar, that's because he basically saved Florida season right at the end last year, helping Florida sneak into a playoff spot. That basically earned him a job as Detroit's third goalie. And since the calendar flipped to 2024, Lyon has been a huge reason the Wings have been able to climb up into a playoff spot. Lindgren, meanwhile, has been solid all year long for the Caps. You may not have noticed because Washington has been neither really good nor really awful, but Lindgren is 11th in goal saved above expected and is showing at age 30, he can absolutely be a capable part of a goaltending battery. Okay, Matthew Kuchuk is one of the biggest stars and personalities in hockey. So it's not like he doesn't get his love. Still, I'm not sure people are as aware as they need to be about the two month heater this guy is on. On December 14th, Kachuk had 20 points and ranked 105th in NHL scoring. Since then, he's basically been playing at 130 point pace, scoring at the same rate as the likes of Nathan McKinnon and Nikita Kucherov. It's been an unbelievable eight weeks for Kachuk. Also, no one really flies under the radar in Canada, but how about the years a couple of defensemen are having? Mike Matheson is having an unbelievable year or two for his hometown Canadians, playing at a 60 point pace and quarterbacking the power play. Mackenzie Weger, meanwhile, is also in his second year with the Flames. And after a rough transition from Florida, he's leading all defensemen with 15 goals. With his next tally, Weger will double his previous career best of eight goals. Now let's get a look at the full ranking. Colorado's in the midst of a tough six game roadie and the results have not been great so far. We talked about how hot Matthew Kachuk is. How about Carolina Sebastian Ajo? 35 points in his past 24 outings. Feels like there's a long line of wild players who've flown under the radar. Joel Erickson Eck is the latest. The Swede is on pace for 36 goals this year. Give a little love to the Sharks. After that tough 12 game losing streak, they are above 500 in their past 11 games. Okay, I'm Ryan Dixon. That's all the time we have, but I got lots of love for everybody who comes here each week, all season long for the Sportsnet Power Ranking.